In this video, you will learn how to use the occlusal transfer calibration object. The occlusal transfer calibration object is used for calibrating the position of mounted models from a physical articulator to a virtual articulator. You can calibrate your physical articulator with its virtual version by mounting the calibration object in gypsum in the articulator and transferring the object position to transfer plates and then the software. This allows you to transfer the byte in order to skip the byte scan later during scanning any models mounted in the chosen articulator. If you have multiple articulators, it should be done for each of them. The calibration object can be used with all the transfer plates and articulators available in the dental system, as well as all scanners except the D500. The occlusal transfer calibration object consists of two parts, the upper with two convex spots and the lower with two corresponding indentations. To start calibration, first mount the lower part of the occlusal transfer calibration object on the cast mounting plate in the articulator. The contact surface of both parts should be located approximately in the sagittal plane of the articulator and the incisal indicator should be aligned with the vertical notch on the calibration object. When the lower part has been mounted, attach the upper part aligning the matching notches and mount it with gypsum. Now, when the calibration object has been mounted in the articulator, you can launch your ScanSuite application. In the Tools tab, open Manage Interface Plates and click Add button. The Calibrate Articulator Interface window will open. In the Type drop-down menu, select your type of articulator and below, fill in its identifier in the provided field. Then press Continue. The pop-up window gives you a hint on how to insert the object in the scanner, depending on the type of scanner. Now open your scanner and remove its height adapters, or adapter if you do not use the D2000. Then remove both mounted parts of the occlusal transfer calibration object from the articulator. and set it on transfer plates for that articulator. Set upper part on the right side. And the lower part of the calibration object on the left side. Close the scanner and click continue to start calibration. If you use a scanner other than the D2000, you will have to do that process separately for the lower and the upper part. After calibration has finished, the transfer plates for that articulator are added to the list. The transfer of the position of the mounted models from the physical articulator to the virtual one has now been calibrated, and models mounted in the articulator can now be scanned. You can check the occlusal contacts using occlusal paper and then use the contact points as reference points in conjunction with the digital scan. Remove the occlusal transfer calibration object from the scanner set the mounted models on transfer plates and insert the models in the scanner. A height adapter is not required during that process. The lower model should be set on the left side and upper on the right side. Create a new case Then launch the Scanit Dental Scanning application. In the Interface Plates drop-down list, choose the correct articulated interface plates and start scanning. Scanning of byte will not be necessary. 
First, scan the upper model. On the initial scan, set an annotation and select the area of interest and click Next. Select the area of interest on the lower model and click Next. Now the scans are ready and due to the transfer of position from the physical articulator, the byte has been set automatically. There is no need for scanning dies if you scan dies in the arch option. When in Dental Designer, you can use the virtual articulator corresponding to the physical one with the model position transferred. You can use the previously marked occlusal contact points as a reference for checking the transfer precision. We hope our video was helpful. Thank you for watching.